Lewis mainly sells goods on credit through Lewis, Best Electric and My Home Brands. So this is a business that's been in a painful way lately. It ran uh, ground with uh, the national financial regulator people. What do you call those people that regulate? Credit regulator. Credit regulator. Yeah. Got hammered for insurances linked to products when they were selling people those in association with these lending packages. Mm. It's gone backwards recently. Market cap 3.9 billion rand, a PE of 6.4 and a dividend yield here of 12.9%. Historic. Whether or not they'll pay that dividend mm. in future remains. Given to be seen. the recent furore. Mm. Let's have a look at the share price graph, Paul, to get a sense of the pressure we're talking about. And mm. there it is. Clear mm. daylight. Yeah, and of course, those ragged moves come from results announcements or results related to fines and other problems that mm. they've run into. Mm. Devin, how bad is it going to get for Lewis? Look, it's been, unfortunately, we saw a very low price to earnings multiple. It's been a bit of a value trap. It's what's cheap has got cheaper. Stock came from 100 Rand per share down to around 40 at the moment where, where we're sitting. And yeah, in your intro, you, you highlighted the main problem is that they're reliant on credit based sales. And as the regulations have tightened, as they've had to cap interest rates and cap the how expensive, you know, their, their premiums are on the insurance. So that's just eaten straight into profitability. Let me put this to you. We see Studifits going into bus business rescues. Yes. Edcon, we've seen a number of moves yes. on that front. Do you think Lewis? is going to go down the same path? Look, there, there, there's a high risk in, in this business the way I see it. 40% um, of its top line revenue comes from credit and ancillary type products. Only 40, 40 odd percent as well comes from actually, actually selling furniture and electronics. So yes, there's a risk, you know, as the legislation changes more, so it will put this company under more pressure potentially. Because the legislation makes it harder. You may not sell anybody anything on credit unless you've gone through a more rigorous process of evaluating right. their credit circumstances. There's caps on interest rates, plus this thing of selling people cheap looking credit, but then adding on extras through insurance, like in the event you get retrenched, has also been crimped now and they mm. faced some fines there. But look, the industry has consolidated. Remember their competitors, African Bank, Ellerines, blew up. They actually bought some of those businesses out of the Ellerines group in liquidation. The other part of the business, which was JD Group, Joshua Dorr, got taken up into Steinhoff, taken off the market, and they completely changed that model to not actually offer much credit at You're all. You're starting to sound a little bit more upbeat S about And remember, the John story? Enslin, the guy who runs this business, is a pretty solid operator. They're not bad guys. They're you don't pretty think good. that this one is going to blow up? I don't think it's going to blow up. I don't think it's going to blow the lights out, but I don't think it's going to blow up. No. Hot or not on Lewis? Um, let's just look at what the market is saying. 20% of the script available for trading is short in the share. So, so there is a lot of negativity that, that it's going low from here. I, I, I just think the, the, the risk is hard to quantify at this stage. Not hot. Not hot. Paul? Yep. Yeah, I wouldn't buy them now. I think you avoid for a while and see how it goes.